Mapping Your Path to Success, Four Essential Steps for a Bright Future. In this video, we will talk about life planning and give you a simple four-step process to help you plan your life. Your life is like a big project and it's the most important one you'll ever work on. Every choice and action you make every day determines whether you'll have a happy or miserable life. We all have limitations like time, money, willpower, and resources, but many of us just go through life without a plan. For example, there's a guy named Jonathan. After finishing school, he decided to take a year off to figure things out. He spent a lot of time at home, watching TV and reading magazines. This went on for a while. When Jonathan's parents saw he was wasting his days, they offered him a job at the local supermarket and he accepted it. Over time, Jonathan's parents kept pressuring him to go to university. They continued to insist and their persistence eventually got to him. Reluctantly, young Jonathan gave in and decided to attend the university. He chose to study business, hoping to find some purpose in his life. However, Jonathan never really had a concrete plan for what to do after university. He only went to please his persistent parents. After finishing university, Jonathan didn't have any immediate plans to join a company. So, he took up a job as a bartender while he contemplated his future. Jonathan was in no rush. The days turned into months and eventually, years passed as he continued to live in a small apartment and work as a bartender. He genuinely enjoyed this job, relishing the opportunity to interact with strangers, serve them drinks, and exchange stories. Jonathan believed he might work as a bartender for the rest of his life, content with serving drinks and meeting new people. However, five years later, the bar where Jonathan worked and cherished so much closed down. He tried looking for other jobs and was hired in a couple of places but he never really felt content in any of them. Working a typical 9-to-5 job, sitting in a cubicle, and doing monotonous tasks didn't align with the life he wanted to lead. As a result, he often quit these jobs. Jonathan attempted to find another bartending position but no one would hire him. The economy wasn't doing well and bartending jobs were scarce. Since then, Jonathan has chosen to sink into despair and drown his sorrows in alcohol. At 30 years old, Jonathan is starting to feel the weight of life's expectations bearing down on him. Most of his friends already have jobs and are working towards paying off their college debts while building meaningful relationships. Jonathan has no money to cover his bills and his landlord has sent numerous eviction notices. Utility companies keep calling as well. Interestingly, Jonathan has decided to attribute his misfortunes to life, claiming that it's not his fault that things aren't working out. His friends have grown accustomed to hearing him say things like, Why is this happening to me? Or, Why is life punishing me? He often wonders what he did wrong, asserting, I'm a nice guy, kind of, and laments that life isn't fair. One of his friends, Robert, attempted to assist him in finding another job, but Jonathan turned it down, claiming it didn't align with his vibe. Robert gave up when he realized that Jonathan lacked a clear vision for his life. You might have encountered a Jonathan in your life, someone who constantly complains, doesn't plan for the future, or rejects help. While you might not be able to do much for Jonathan, you can do a lot to avoid becoming like him by simply having a plan. Life planning is crucial. It's like a map that provides direction and reminds you of where you're headed. It's easy to sit and envision your future self thriving with enough money and wealth to support your lifestyle for years to come. But without a well-structured plan to reach your goals, you might wander off course and waste your time and energy on unproductive pursuits. Save yourself the frustration and start planning your life. In this video, we will explore the importance of life planning and how it can lead to personal growth and a fulfilling life. Similar to how you make plans for buying a car or paying off your student loans, your life also needs a clear, detailed, and written plan that you can follow and modify as needed. Step 1. Create a list of interests. Think of life as an expansive sea filled with numerous islands, each offering a unique set of experiences. One island might represent a college education, while another provides an opportunity to delve into the world of ancient pottery. There's an island for music, another for developing managerial skills, and many more. The reason you should create a list of your interests is that your entire life journey can't be confined to just one of these islands. Perhaps you dream of being on an island where you're the CEO of a marketing company teaching at a local community college, and crafting custom furniture in your garage on weekends. Is this possible? Absolutely! We all have a range of interests that we can pursue simultaneously. Crafting this list of interests keeps your options open for all the exciting possibilities you can explore in your lifetime. 
When creating this list, channel your inner curiosity like a child who constantly asks questions and takes apart household appliances to uncover answers. Be as adventurous as possible in this list and make it deeply personal. It should resolve around things that genuinely pique your interest. Whether you want to enroll in a dance class, learn how to cook, pick up French, or return to teaching physics, write it all down. You can even create a separate bucket list to keep things thrilling. Once you've compiled this extensive list, you can move on to the next step. Step 2. Conduct your investigation Successful projects are built on thorough research and the same principle applies to your life. Research helps you gain a broader perspective without having to experience everything firsthand. As a wise person once said, the future is already taking shape, visible in fragments. This means there are people around you who have pursued the path you aspire to follow. For instance, if you're planning to become a dancer, you can engage in conversations with dance coaches to learn where to start. If you're interested in racing cars, there are experienced drivers who can guide you on what it entails. Talk to these people and listen to their insights and advice. This will help you assess whether you have the necessary resources to pursue your idea and prepare for the future. For example, if your plan involves becoming a manager in your company, study the organizational structure above you, understand what it takes to progress, and ultimately reach a managerial position. While you may not have every step mapped out, you can certainly plan to enhance your presence in the workplace and become a valuable contributor to the company by sharing ideas during meetings. Step 3. Divide your objectives into daily routines Success is often built on the foundation of good habits. While planning for a bright and happy future can be exhilarating, it's essential to break it down into actionable steps. Imagine your goals are like topics, and to reach those goals, you need subtopics that form the body of your work. If your goal is to lose weight, your daily plan should include a specific diet with calorie targets and exercise routines. Similarly, if your goal is to write a book, your plan should incorporate strategies like writing 2,000 words each week or perhaps 100 words every morning. Now, you should ask yourself what habits are needed to achieve these goals. A helpful approach is to work in threes, focusing on developing three habits per goal. For example, if your goal is to create better YouTube videos, consider these three habits for your daily routine. 1. Review daily events related to your YouTube content. 2. Collect and note down viewer comments and requests for more information. And 3. Brainstorm rough video ideas based on the information you've gathered. By adopting these three habits, you can accumulate information without overwhelming your creativity on a single day of the week. Building habits is practical because humans are creatures of habit. What's more, habits are specific and, therefore, more attainable than vague, generalized goals. Step 4. Put into action. Assess and filter. Once you've identified your habits, the next step is to put them into action. Implementing your habits requires discipline, which you'll develop by staying committed to your plan. Keep in mind that perfect plans don't exist, so it's important to schedule regular reviews of your actions to assess whether they're producing the desired results. During these reviews, which can occur over days or weeks, make a note of any issues you encounter. For example, if you find yourself overwhelmed by trying to juggle too many activities, consider dropping one of them until you have more time. These reviews also help you identify problems that may be beyond your control, allowing you to take steps to stop worrying about them. While evaluating your life, you may discover that some habits aren't as valuable as you thought. It can be challenging to let go of certain habits, but doing so will free up more energy for the essential aspects of your life. Take the time to review and sift through your habits, discarding unimportant ones and replacing toxic habits with beneficial ones. Don't forget to stay adaptable and be receptive to new ideas that could enhance your future. Ultimately, relish the process of planning your life as failing to plan is essentially planning to fail. Thank you all for watching. Please consider sharing this video with a friend or two and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. With that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.